pack when it comes to minimally invasive surgeries, laparoscopic and robotic, different techniques with the same benefits. There is significantly less blood loss, it's a quicker procedure, quicker recovery, less scarring, less chance for postoperative wound complications or infections. In a laparoscopic procedure, surgeons operate through a series of poke holes, manually inserting thin cutting tools and a camera to provide magnified vision. It's used in a variety of surgical specialties. The vast majority of gallbladder surgeries performed laparoscopically. A single incision in the belly button, one up under the breastbone, and either one or two in the right upper side of the belly using long skinny instruments. Uh, and looking up at a TV monitor, remove the gallbladder that way. While laparoscopic is a hands-on approach, robotic procedures are surgeon controlled. Working at a console, surgeons direct the robotic arms, which have superhuman capabilities and 3D high-def vision. I mean, it's, uh, you have to see it to believe it. That's a great tool to have, and so you've got a very good depth perception. Plus the other thing, you're, um, when you're working with your hands, it's more intuitive. The robotic system performs maneuvers the human hand can't. Especially if you have to do any suturing, this makes it so much simpler with the robot because you can just turn around the 360 degrees. Robotic surgery is gaining momentum in precise procedures, including the field of cancer. The robot is good where you're just going to operate at one field. For rectal surgery, you're at one place, it's docked, it gives you the best three-dimensional vision. Robotic and laparoscopic, both cutting-edge options with less cutting. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.